Station, Doug Heil. Owyhee Car Wash, McClellan Swanson Dental Office. The South Dakota Office of Highway Safety celebrates being a part of the team and reminds you to buckle up every trip, every time. Tonight's starting lineup brought to you by Gas and Goodies of Mobridge. And the tip-off tonight brought to you by Montana Dakota Utilities, MDU in the community to serve. Player of the game tonight brought to you by Merkel's Foods. The scoreboard all night long is brought to you by Vision Care Associates. And tonight's video sports sponsors are Key Insurance, Riverside Home Furnishing, Sitting Bull College, and the Moorbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. Also, the Law on the Court tonight is brought to you by the South Dakota Attorney General's Office, Division of Consumer Protection. Let's hear from them right now. We'll meet tonight's officials right here. This is Star 99. Monitor your accounts, especially during the holidays. Remember to track your accounts frequently for any fraudulent transactions, whether through mobile banking or online access. Sign up for notifications or text alerts from your bank that might indicate suspicious activity. This can range from mobile deposit alerts, big purchase alerts, password change alerts, etc. If you receive an alert, immediately reach out to your bank to ensure it is not a scam. Do not click on the link. With questions, contact the South Dakota Consumer Protection Division, 1-800-300-1986. And tonight's officials are Dwayne McPherson, Dave Rogers, and Nick Gottlob. And uh, with that said, we've got uh, a couple of great interviews. We got to talk with Ashton Fitzer, also with uh, Coach Knudsen, and we're going to have those coming up. We'll take a three-minute timeout right now. We'll come back. We'll have our interviews when we return. This is the pregame on Star 99. Community isn't just defined by a dot on the map. It can be defined by shared values, ideas, and dreams. It can be defined by the people who come together to get those dreams done. At Great Western Bank, we're focused on you. We're focused on making life great for the people and the communities we serve. We do it with honesty, integrity, and respect. Always have, always will. Since community is much more than a location, we're glad to be in yours. Great Western Bank, making life great. Member FDIC. Here at Eisman Building Products, we are proud to be strong supporters of our community, local businesses, schools, and the Mulbridge Pollock Tigers. Hi, this is Christy. If you're needing your roof replaced this fall, we offer steel roofing, impact-resistant shingles, and other high-quality shingles, plus roofing products to get the job done right. We can also recommend reliable, dependable, and local contractors to install your product. That's Eisman Building Products, proud to be a supporter of the Mulbridge Pollock Tigers. Good luck, Tigers. Apply now for a WRT $1,000 scholarship, including district area and technology awards. WRT scholarships are available to both high school seniors and college students. Students and or their parents must have WRT internet or phone service to be eligible. Apply online at westrib.com slash scholarship dash application. WRT members can also apply for the national FRS $2,500 scholarship at frs.org. Don't miss out. Apply by March 1st for WRT's $1,000 scholarship. Dad, at college we learned that every good business has a mission statement. Does Jensen Rock and Sand have one? Of course we do. Our mission statement is to provide quality products and services, exceed our customers' expectations, and create a good working environment for our employees. Wow, that's exactly what we do. I guess having a mission statement isn't important as actually doing what you say. Grace, you're so smart. I get it from you, Dad. For your commercial agriculture and residential construction projects, call Jensen Rock and Sand of Mulbridge, Aberdeen, Eagle Butte, Gettysburg, Falkton, or Fort Aids. At Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, your health is our number one priority. So if you need medical care, then trust our team. Dr. Donald Lusick, surgeon, Dr. Josh Henderson, and Dr. Travis Henderson, internal medicine. For family and women's health, including obstetrics, you can trust Dr. Emily Bowden, Dr. Robert Marciano, or Dr. Matt Schaefer, along with Dory Voidy, nurse practitioner and certified nurse midwife, physician assistants Heather Olson and Clint Perman, and nurse practitioners Candida Gehring, Jesse Norder, Karen Freiling, and Annette Hollenbeck. Good luck from our team to yours from Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. There's an app for everything, including high school sports from the stations of DRG Media Group. Download the DRG News app brought to you by the Golden Buffalo Casino from the App Store or Google Play. It takes only a moment so you'll have it in time for this game. See live and archived video of all games. And when you select your favorite station during the live stream, the video will immediately pop up. See Central South Dakota High School Sports on your phone or mobile device with the DRG News app brought to you by the Golden Buffalo Casino. Download it now at the App Store or Google Play. 
Welcome back from the break. We are going to start our pregame tonight with Ashton Fitzer. And Ashton, uh, uh, I, we were just doing this when it all, all of a sudden came apart. But let's talk a little bit about uh, last game of the season. It's it's almost time to start thinking about a new season, get excited about postseason. Um, so you want to finish strong tonight, I imagine. Yes, we are looking for a win tonight to go into the postseason looking good. Talk a little bit about Belfouche. They... Uh, uh, not a team that you play every year, not a team that you know very well. You've probably seen a little bit of tape. What do you know about them? Uh, about every one of their guys on the team can shoot. So bigs, littles, they're all going to be pulling up and shooting from somewhere. So defensively, it's important to play tough defense but not get in foul trouble. Yes. You're a little bit short on the bench tonight. Uh, you've got one of your starters not playing. You've also got uh, uh, kind of a skeleton crew from the JV here. Uh, tell me a little bit about how important it is to stay out of foul trouble. Well, to, I mean, we've got a pretty deep bench as it is, but we have been getting in foul trouble the last couple of games, and it's hurt us because then we can't play all our guys that we need to. You know, another thing that I've been noticing, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, when you guys get fouled and get to the line, uh, it seems like you were, you know, about three, four weeks ago, you guys were shooting lights out from the charity stripe, but now all of a sudden, is, is it because of the, the length of the season? Are you guys fatigued? What's what's going on from the, the line? I don't know, really. We should be making those. We've just been struggling a little bit, I guess. Are you, are you getting into the gym uh, uh, other than game time to uh, practice your shooting at all? Um, we practice shooting at practice, and every once in a while we'll shoot free throws. All right. Well, this is a big one. It's Belfouche. You travel clear across the state to come play these guys. So I imagine you want to make a statement. What are the keys tonight to this uh, victory? Um, really to just come down here and make shots and play good defense. and not... Pace? Is that going to be a key tonight, your pace? Yeah, we're looking to have like, a high, fast-paced game and just ran the ball as much as we can. And, of course, uh, controlling the ball and not having turnovers, that's going to be important too. Yeah, we're trying to not have as many turnovers during games because that's hurt us too. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Back in two minutes, this is Star 99. Lucky's Pit Stop in Mobridge invites you to stop by before or after the game for all of your convenience store items and a whole lot more. They have tackle, South Dakota souvenirs, cappuccinos, hot and cold sandwiches, and a whole lot more. If you're in need of an oil change, a tire fixed, or a whole new set, they have that too, with prices that won't break your budget. Stop by Lucky's Pit Stop of Mobridge, your local Sinclair store with the big green dinosaur on West Grand Crossing in Mobridge. Think about long-term care. What options come to mind? Your State Farm agent knows you might want to receive care in your own home. Your good neighbor has a great solution. Long-term care insurance from State Farm Mutual Automobile Insurance Company. We live where you live. See State Farm agent Doug Heil in Mobridge or call 845-3603. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, providing insurance and financial services. Winter weather is hard on your paint and underbody of your vehicle. At Oahe Car Wash in Mulbridge, we want to help you take care of your vehicle with our new automatic car wash phase on West Grand Crossing. Choose from our touchless or soft touch wash to make your vehicle look great both underneath and outside. Keeping your car clean helps prolong the value too. Oahe Car Wash is proud to sponsor this sports broadcast and grateful we can serve you. At McQuillan's Once in Dental, we understand. We understand the nervousness, the edginess, the fear that takes over. And that's why when you sit down in the chair, you can't have a better friend than the one you'll have at McQuillan's Once in Dental. Our dentists understand your apprehension. That's why you're their first concern for any dental procedure. Whether it's a simple cleaning or something as complex as a root canal, you can rest assured that our dentists will take every precaution to make sure you're as comfortable as you can be. McQuillan Swanson Dental and Mulbridge, your smile, our success. Welcome back from the break. We're going to continue on. We've got Coach Knutson with us. And Coach, being that it's the last game of the season, it's real simple to kind of overlook this, getting ready for postseason. What have you told the team about uh, staying focused tonight? Uh, quite a bit. We've been having conversations all week about staying focused and not overlooking, but but really just taking the task at hand and one game at a time. And um, I thought it was kind of funny today. Somebody asked me about next week what day we played, and I said, I don't even know. I'm too focused on Belfouche, and I think the kids are the same way. 
No, I know that you do a lot of scouting. You get a lot of video and you watch uh, uh, on Huddle and so on and so forth. Uh, what do you know about this team? Because it's kind of an unknown. You know, after talking with some coaches down here and watching uh, their last three games on film, uh, we know that they have five pretty solid athletes that can get up and down the floor. They like to score inside as much as they can, have a couple guys that are good at, good at driving, um, and so they play a, a good brand of basketball. We'll need to um, play defense first and hopefully get some points in transition. And so you're predicting a high pace game. It, it seems like, you know, when we started the basketball season out, it was go, 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 go. And, and as of late, it's you've been running your offense and it's been kind of intentional. Uh, and, and you're getting, you know, good shots and good looks and so on and so forth. But you're running a lot of uh, uh, shot clock. Um, is, is that also intentional? Yeah, at times, just because, you know, getting ready for postseason, there are things we have to work on on the court against other teams. And, you know, at, at a certain point in the season, you got to make sure you what you choose for the, the remainder of the season is the right things. And throughout the course of the season, that's what we've done is we've picked out this and that and uh, made things work that we feel will give us the best chances in the future. So t tell me I, one last question. What are the keys tonight? How are you going to get the victory? You know, I, I really do think rebounding, uh, beating them on the boards, and then turning those into fast breaks, uh, that'll be a big key, just rebounding. You know, another thing would be taking care of the ball. We've been taking care of it pretty well lately. But, you know, when you take a three-hour bus ride, sometimes that ball tends to fly into the bleachers. So take care of the ball, rebounding. And then uh, another major thing is we, we just have to have a couple guys step up and, and take, uh, take charge and maybe score 20 points. So... We're looking for scoring inside and, and getting momentum. Bench is going to get loud and a lot of energy tonight. All right. Good luck. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. We'll be back in two minutes. This is Star 99. Community isn't just defined by a dot on the map. It can be defined by shared values, ideas, and dreams. It can be defined by the people who come together to get those dreams done. At Great Western Bank, we're focused on you. We're focused on making life great for the people and the communities we serve. We do it with honesty, integrity, and respect. Always have, always will. Since community is much more than a location, we're glad to be in yours. Great Western Bank, making life great. Member FDIC. Interested in new cabinetry but don't know where to start? We, we make, make it, it easy. easy. This is Christy of Eisman Building Products. We offer showplace cabinetry. Premium, custom, quality built cabinets with a lifetime warranty that's made right here in South Dakota. And I'm Rissa, your showplace cabinetry designer. Get free consultations and design services by calling 850-4595. At Eisman Building Products, we carry quartz, granite, and laminate countertops to complement your showplace cabinets. Call me to design your space today. 850-4595. For more inspiration, go online to showplacecabinetry.com. Apply now for a WRT $1,000 scholarship, including district area and technology awards. WRT scholarships are available to both high school seniors and college students. Students and or their parents must have WRT internet or phone service to be eligible. Apply online at westrivercom slash scholarship dash application. WRT members can also apply for the national FRS $2,500 scholarship at frs.org. Don't miss out. Apply by March 1st for WRT's $1,000 scholarship. The starting lineup, gas and goodies in Mobridge, includes fast and easy fuel pumps, propane exchanges, deli sandwiches, and Rick's chili and tortilla soups. Their bench runs pretty deep as fresh baked caramel rolls, aisles of snacks, and coolers of drinks are ready to get in the game. And the playbook includes everyday convenience items for all. The buzzer beater is the homemade pizza. Get it hot by the slice, order it to go, or take it and bake it. Gas and goodies in Mobridge. Now there's a game changer. Well, I've got news. Uh, the starting lineups are going to have to come a little bit later on because I have heard a rumor that they have changed for Mobridge Pollock tonight. I can give you the Belfouche starting lineups. Uh, they are the home team tonight, but uh, again, Mobridge Pollock has decided to go with a different starting lineup tonight. We'll see. Uh, we're going to have to give that to you as they're announced. But uh, uh, tonight, the starting lineup for Belfouche, a junior uh, forward and uh, number five is Gabe Heck, uh, senior forward at 6'2, and warning number 12 is Lon Fear. Uh, in the middle, the uh, center tonight is a junior at 6'3, wearing number 14, Aiden Giffen, and then the two guards tonight, a senior at 5'10, wearing number three, Gage uh, Crocked. 
Uh, that's how you say that, crocked. Okay, I had to go down and get pronunciations on some of these. Sophomore, six foot, wearing number 10 the other guard tonight, Anthony Budmeyer. And so uh, the Bronx are uh, 9 and 10 on the season, 6 and 3 in the Black Hills Conference. And uh, when you look at the starting lineup, the uh, big scorer on the uh, uh, floor in the starting lineup is uh, uh, Aiden Giffen with 14 points per game. But Anthony Budmeyer coming in with 10 points a game. Uh, rebounding edge uh, is going to be Giffen again, the, the, uh, the, senior, or the junior down low, averaging five rebounds per game. He shoots 61% from the line, 39% from the floor. Um, the, the high uh, free throw shooter, is going to be Anthony Budmeyer, 78%. He's the one that averages 10 points and five rebounds per game. Uh, then Crocked is a uh, uh, 65% free throw shooter, 32% from the floor. Gabe Hack is a uh, 73% free throw shooter, 50% from the floor, and averaging just about six points per game. And then Lon Fear uh, averages about uh, eight points a game. He uh, also averages almost four rebounds per game, 72% from the line and 37% from the floor. And once again, the uh, starting lineups for Mobridge Pollock, uh, if the rumor is true, they've changed tonight. And so um, here, a little bit closer to uh, game time, we'll get those starting lineups for you from uh, Mobridge Pollock, brought to you by Gas and Goodies of Mobridge. So it's the Bronx, it's the Tigers here in Belfouche tonight. And we're going to take another three-minute timeout. We'll come back. We'll meet the Mobridge Pollock starters when we return. It's a big night of basketball right here on Star 99. At Jensen Rock and Santa Mobridge, we work hard together as a team to make sure all your needs are met when it comes to your residential commercial construction. Whether it's a simple pail of rock or an entire basement, our staff will make sure you get what you need and back it up with the service that we've based our business on. We want to take this time to wish the Mobridge Pollock athletes the best in the game and the season. Good luck from all of us at Jensen Rock and Sand of Mobridge. Call 845-7213 today at Jensen Rock and Sand. At Mobridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, your health is our number one priority. So if you need medical care, then trust our team. Dr. Donald Lusick, surgeon, Dr. Josh Henderson, and Dr. Travis Henderson, internal medicine. For family and women's health, including obstetrics, you can trust Dr. Emily Bowden, Dr. Robert Marciano, or Dr. Matt Schaefer, along with Dory Voidy, nurse practitioner and certified nurse midwife. Physician assistants, Heather Olson and Clint Perman, and nurse practitioners, Candida Gehring, Jesse Norder, Karen Frilling, and Annette Hollenbeck. Good luck from our team to yours from Mobridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. Lucky's Pit Stop in Mobridge invites you to stop by before or after the game for all of your convenience store items and a whole lot more. They have tackle, South Dakota souvenirs, cappuccinos, hot and cold sandwiches, and a whole lot more. If you're in need of an oil change, a tire fixed, or a whole new set, they have that too, with prices that won't break your budget. Stop by Lucky's Pit Stop of Mobridge, your local Sinclair store with the big green dinosaur on West Grand Crossing in Mobridge. State Farm, this is Kristen. Wow, it's 3 a.m. You guys really are always there for me 24-7. That's like better than my mother. Better than who? Mom, get off the phone. Where was this person when you needed your diapers changed? Mom, please, get off the phone! Or when you needed to be tucked in bed till you were 15 years old. Uh, okay, Kristen, I'll call you back. State Farm is there for you 24-7, like no one else. Get to a better state. See State Farm agent Doug Heil in Mobridge today or call 845-3603. Have you tried the new car wash base at Oahe Car Wash in Mulbridge? If you haven't, now's the time. Our new car wash cleans not only the outside, but the underside too. Choose from either one of our new car wash bays, soft touch or touch free. Your car will be sparkling clean without all of the work, so you're ready to hit the road. There's even wax to protect your paint against harsh summer rays. Maintain the value of your car with a car wash from Oahe Car Wash in Mulbridge. Twice a year, you owe it to yourself to get a checkup because you were only given one set of teeth to work with. After that, it's too late to say I should have cared for them better. McQuillan Swanson Dental will help you get the most from your teeth and gums. So for everything from a simple checkup to a wide variety of services, trust McQuillan Swanson Dental. McQuillan Swanson Dental and Mulbridge, healthy smiles for life. Welcome back here. Well, I found out the gas and goodies starting lineup for Mobridge Pollock. Uh, a guard, 
a senior 6'1", wearing number two, Bryston Gearing. The other starting guard tonight is a senior at six foot, wearing number four, Gavin Reinert. Uh, one of the forwards tonight is a senior at 5'11", wearing number 23, Caden Eisenman. The other starting forward is a senior at six foot, wearing number 13, Zane Reinert. And in the middle, the junior at 6'3", wearing number 42, Kalen McCollum is starting tonight for the Tigers. And so there you go. There's your starting lineup as public address gets ready. And the national anthem will be coming up. Most of the girls that sang this morning at the state wrestling tournament are here tonight. But it looks like it's going to be a Belfouche Ensemble Choir that is going to sing the national anthem. As they gather at center court and get ready for the national anthem, we're going to take a break. And we'll send it back to the studio. Let's take a three-minute timeout. We'll be right back with a tip-off from MDU right here on Star 99. Community isn't just defined by a dot on the map. It can be defined by shared values, ideas, and dreams. It can be defined by the people who come together to get those dreams done. At Great Western Bank, we're focused on you. We're focused on making life great for the people and the communities we serve. We do it with honesty, integrity, and respect. Always have, always will. Since community is much more than a location, we're glad to be in yours. Great Western Bank, making life great. Member FDIC. Here at Eisman Building Products, we are proud to be strong supporters of our community, local businesses, schools, and the Mulbridge Pollock Tigers. Hi, this is Christy. Stop in and see us for all your building needs, including roofing, siding, cabinetry, paint, and much more. We can also recommend reliable, dependable, and local contractors to install your products. Call 845-7272 or stop in and see us at 1505 West Grand Crossing. That's Eisman Building Products, proud to be a supporter of the Mulbridge Pollock Tigers. Good luck, Tigers. Apply now for a WRT $1,000 scholarship, including district area and technology awards. WRT scholarships are available to both high school seniors and college students. Students and or their parents must have WRT internet or phone service to be eligible. Apply online at westrib.com slash scholarship dash application. WRT members can also apply for the national FRS $2,500 scholarship at frs.org. Don't miss out. Apply by March 1st for WRT's $1,000 scholarship. As the snow flies, it's nice to know you don't have to break your back to get rid of unwanted piles in your driveway when you have Jensen Rock and Sand to do the work. We will be happy to come to your home to remove your snow and get you back on the road. For more information on rates or to get on our schedule for cleanup, give us a call at 845-7213 and leave the snow removal to us. Jensen Rock and Sand of Mobridge, Aberdeen, Eagle View, Falkton, Gettysburg, and Fort Yates. Here for all of your snow removal needs. At Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, your health is our number one priority. So if you need medical care, then trust our team. Dr. Donald Lusick, surgeon, Dr. Josh Henderson, and Dr. Travis Henderson, internal medicine. For family and women's health, including obstetrics, you can trust Dr. Emily Bowden, Dr. Robert Marciano, or Dr. Matt Schaefer, along with Dory Voidy, nurse practitioner and certified nurse midwife, physician's assistants, Heather Olson and Clint Perman, and nurse practitioners Candida Gehring, Jesse Norder, Karen Freiling, and Annette Hollenbeck. Good luck from our team to yours from Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. Montana Dakota Utilities slogan, in the community to serve, goes beyond providing safe and reliable electric and natural gas service. MDU and our dedicated employees are committed to the communities they serve, work, and live, just like the dedicated area students and coaches are committed to having the best season possible. Best of luck for a successful season to all area teams from Montana Dakota Utilities, proud to sponsor the area youth. Now the Tigers tonight in their away black uniforms with orange trim and white lettering. The Bronx tonight are in their home whites with purple trim and lettering. As we get set and ready to go, the Tigers have just been announced on the floor. We're waiting for the, uh, the uh, Bronx to be announced. A little bit of Rocky music in the background. I hope that's not any indication how this game's going to go tonight. And uh, they just said crack. That's, uh, that's how they're going to say it. I thought it was crock.
Bud Meyer now. The uniforms look very reminiscent of what I wore when I was in high school. Just the white with the purple. And here we go. Referees are ready to go. The scores table is ready to go. Let's hear right now from MDU. We'll have the tip off. Montana Dakota Utilities slogan in the community to serve goes beyond providing safe and reliable electric and natural gas service. MDU and our dedicated employees are committed to the communities they serve, work, and live, just like the dedicated area students and coaches are committed to having the best season possible. Best of luck for a successful season to all area teams from Montana Dakota Utilities, proud to sponsor the area youth. Tip is controlled by the Bronx, and they go to work right away. It's Budmeyer left side. Up top now, give it off to Giffen. Giffen goes out to the right side to Fear. Fear back up top now over the left side. Once again, Giffen. Giffen a couple of dribbles, looks in. Now goes the right side on the wing. It's Heck for three, no good. Rebound comes out, Bryston Geary. And he'll make his way out of the backcourt, cross the time stripe, set up inside the center circle. Now it's left side, Eisman. Eisman looks in underneath. Here's McCollum. McCollum with a hook shot up off the window. No good. Rebound comes out this time to Budmeyer. Budmeyer is going to throw the long pass over the right side to Fear. Up top now to Heck. Back over it comes. It's Fear. Fear from the wing spot. And he's going to lose a handle on it while he's trying to go down to Croc. And it's going to be out of his reach and out of bounds. And so the Tigers will get it back after the turnover. And here comes this time Eisman out of the backcourt. Cross a time stripe. Looking into the left side, and he's going to drop it off there. It's going to be in the hands of Gary. Gary on the dribble now. Top of the K, left side. Give it off to Cerny. Cerny right down the middle of the paint. Up and good. So first blood drawn by the Tigers. Trey Cerny with the basket. 2 nothing. 6.45 here in the first period. Back the other way. Here's the Bronx with the ball. It's Crock. Top of the key. Looks into the left side. Give it off there. And a Budmeyer. But Meyer looks down in the corner. Now give it off to Heck. Heck back up top now into the hands of Fear. Fear right side outside is going to be crocked. Crocked will drop it a couple of steps. Now bring it back up top. They'll set up the offense from there. Budmeyer, seven on the shot clock. And then on the dribble drive this time is Fear. No good. Rebound is tipped all the way out to the top of the key to Crock. Now into the corner. Three on the way. Boom, right there. Anthony Budmeyer hits one from the deep corner, and it is now 3-2, and it is the Bronx on top. 6.02 left here in the first period. Here's Zane Reiner down the middle of the paint. Up and God. Good dribble drive penetration by Reiner at that time, and it's 4-3 now. Tigers on top. Here come the Bronx. Backdoor pass this time. Shot up, and it's blocked. Crock shot is blocked. Loose ball picked up. And Gary will bring it over to the left side. Now top of the key. Goes on the dribble drive. Leans in. Puts it up. It rattles around. No good. Rebound this time comes down to Budmeyer. Budmeyer will bring it across the stripe himself. Looks inside. On the low post this time, Giffen. Giffen has to come back out with it to Fear. Fear into the corner. Here's Heck. Three-pointer on the way, and it's off the back edge. No good. Rebound tipped right into the hands of Gehring. Gehring will bring it back the other way. Set up from the right side. Now looks out. It's going to be this time Reinert. Reinert on the dribble drive. Up off the window with the kiss. Good. 6-3. Tigers on top. Here come the Bronx. Back on the attack. Cross the stripe now. Left side, outside. Going to be Heck. Heck will bring it up top now. Give it off to Giffen. Giffen over the left side. It's going to be Budmeyer. Budmeyer looking inside, and it's stolen away, and gehring has got it. He wants to push. He'll go into the left side from the wing spot. Now there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Our first whistle stoppage of the ball game. It's going to go against Budmeyer. That'll be his first. First team foul, first foul of the ball game. Coming out of the ball game is going to be crocked for the uh, Bronx. Trying to find out who came in for him. Looking for a number 24 over there. That's Brexton Garza Clarkson. Here is Cerny. Cerny goes in. Cerny is going to draw the offensive foul. Put his head down and went right through the defender. And so first foul on him. One apiece in the foul department team-wise. 
So the Bronx will get it back, and they're going to go back the other way. Bell Fouche. Top of the key now, Fuhrer left side. Fuhrer looks into Garza Clarkson. Garza Clarkson with the leaner, no good. Rebound comes out, Eisman. he'll give it up ahead, and the ball's going to be stolen away, and it's loose for a moment. And now picked up, and now it's stolen right back again. Here's Gehring. Gehring goes up and good, and the plus one coming up. Foul is going to go against Heck. That'll be his first, second team foul. So Gehring at the stripe, he's going to have the plus one. Try to make this a 9-3 to three game if he can drop this one home. On its way, it's in and out, no good. And the rebound is going to be controlled by the Bronx. As they go to work, cross the top of the key to Fear. Fear goes inside, loses the handle for a moment, saves it. But Gabe Heck can't handle it. It goes out of bounds. And so the Tigers are going to get it back after the turnover. Under four left here in the first period. 8-3 our score. Tigers on top. Gehring will go to work in the backcourt. And he'll cross the time stripe. Now look inside, and the pass is going to be out in front. Ball's basically thrown away there. And a turnover. Here come the Bronx. Out of the backcourt now with the ball is going to be Budmeyer. Top of the key. Give it off to Fear. Fear looks into the right side now. It's going to be Kroc. Crock back up, it's Garza Clarkson. Right side outside to Fear. Fear looks inside, not much there. Got it plugged up pretty good. Here's Clark Garza Clarkson to the high paint. Leans back, his shot is going to be blocked on the way up. Cerny with the loose ball and give it off this time. It's going to be Gehring down on the corner, Eisman. Eisman inside now and going to the hoop is going to be, this time, McCollum. His first basket. And it's 10-3 now. It is Mulbridge Pollock on top. Right side outside. Into the hands of Kroc. Up top now. Give it up. And uh, Riker Otis, the junior, is in the ball game. Six foot three junior. He tries to go in with the pass. It's thrown away. Up ahead to Gary. Now to Eisman. Eisman goes up. It's good. And he's going to go to the line. McCollum's going to check out of the lineup. Coming in for him is going to be Ashton Fitz or the 5'11". Uh, oh, that's not true. He's not 5'11". Let's say six foot junior. One shot, one shot only as Eisman steps up, puts it on its way, and it's right there. Eisman gets the three-point play, and that makes it now 13-3, 10-point lead for Mobridge Pollock. Eisman checks out of the ball game. Gavin Reiner will check in. Gavin is a senior at six foot. In the backcourt, pressure being applied by the Tigers. Over the left side, it's going to be Kroc. Now inside to Fear. Fear puts a shot up, no good. Rebound to Fitzer, and here comes Reiner back the other way. This is going to be Zane. Zane giving up top now, and it's going to be Fitzer. Fitzer looks over the left side. Going to work with it is going to be Gary. Gary over to Cerny. Cerny looks in, not much there. Now we'll have to go on the dribble. Give it off to Gehring. Gehring right side, outside. He'll go on the dribble drive through the middle of the paint. His shot is blocked. Loose ball picked up. And here's a three-pointer on the way by Gavin Reiner. Just off. No good. Rebound to the Bronx. And they're going back the other way. Budmeyer right side, outside. Going to give it off to Croc. And a whistle and a foul. Gavin Reiner's going to pick it up. That'll be his first, second team foul. Gabe Heck will check back into the lineup. Coming out is going to be Lanfear. Also coming out is going to be Riker Otis. And coming back in there is going to be Aiden Giffen. Inbounds comes in. Garza Clarkson will give it out to the right side now. And it's going to be Budmeyer. Budmeyer up top. Give it off to Croc. Croc now back to Budmeyer. Budmeyer looks inside. Passes it in to Giffen. Giffen with a turnaround. No good. And then it kind of gets tipped up and in. So it's now 13-5. Tigers on top. Here's Zane Reiner. Right side. Has a lane to the basket. Puts it up. It's good. And he's going to go to the line. Hey, 
Foul is going to go against Giffen. That'll be his first. Third team foul. And again, Zane Reinert up there for the plus one. One shot, one shot only. Puts it on its way, and it's right there. Reinert gets it, and now it's 16 to 5. Mulberg's Pollock on top as they go pressure in the backcourt. On the dribble is Budmeyer. He loses the handle, and then it's tipped around, loose on the floor, chased all the way out of bounds that time by Geary. Zane Reinert will check out of the lineup. Coming in for him is going to be Caden Eisman. Bronx to inbound against pressure in the backcourt. Inbounds comes in. It's going to be Kroc. Kroc will bring it back the other way. Stolen away. Up ahead it comes, and it's Eisman up off the window. Good. 18-5 now. Tigers on top. Bronx in the backcourt. Cross the time stripe with a pass to Heck. Now right side to Giffen. Giffen goes on the baseline drive, and there's going to be a whistle and a foul. This one's going to go against uh, Trey Cerny. That'll be his second. And so the inbound is set up from underneath their own basket. Comes in. It's Heck. And there's going to be a whistle and a foul. And that's going to be the oh oh foul on Trey Cerny. He'll check out of the lineup. McCollum is going to come in for him. And again, Belfouche will inbound. Inbounds is going to come in out to the right wing. Heck, now in the corner. Three on the way, and it's going to be long. No good. Taken by Budmeyer, and the rebound comes out to Fitzer. Fitzer will give it off to Gehring. Now Gehring, top of the key, goes on the dribble drive. Is trying to go across the paint. Give it off there. It's going to be Eisman. Eisman, top of the key. Goes into the right side. Sets up there from the wing spot. Needs some help. Give it off to McCollum. McCollum on the drive. Baseline. Brings it back out. Gavin Reiner. Now to Eisman. Now up top it comes. Now Eisman for three. And it's off the front edge. No good. Rebound. Tipped around. And it's going to be controlled by Heck. Heck comes back the other way. Into the high post this time to Giffen. Giffen trying to put a move on. And there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Referees are not messing around inside. Foul this time is going to go against Bryston Gehring. That will be his first. Inbounds is set up by Belfouche. Into the corner it comes to Giffen. Back up top now to Otis. Otis just checked back into the lineup. Here's Budmeyer. Budmeyer top of the key. He comes in to about the free throw line and drains it. He's got five points right now. Here's a long shot at the corner break, and boy, it's close. Ashton Fencer just bounced it right off the front of the iron, but after one on your Vision Care Associates scoreboard, it is Tigers 18, Bronx 7. Back in one minute with more basketball here on Star 99. Lucky's Pit Stop in Mobridge invites you to stop by before or after the game for all of your convenience store items and a whole lot more. They have tackle, South Dakota souvenirs, cappuccinos, hot and cold sandwiches, and a whole lot more. If you're in need of an oil change, a tire fixed, or a whole new set, they have that too, with prices that won't break your budget. Stop by Lucky's Pit Stop of Mobridge, your local Sinclair store with the big green dinosaur on West Grand Crossing in Mobridge. You guys ready for the game? Yeah. All right. Well, management told me they weren't paying me for pep talk, so I'm going to stop now. You know that place between saving money and sacrificing quality? We are so there. What's the point of saving money if you get lousy results, especially when it comes to car insurance? State Farm can give you the right amount of coverage, plus with discounts up to 40%. You'll like how much you can save. State Farm is there. See State Farm agent Doug Heil in Mobridge or call 845-3603. Discounts may vary 5 to 40% state to state. Yeah! Welcome back. Well, the Belfouche boys are out on the floor right now. They come out there with Otis. Also out there is Fear. Also coming off the bench is going to be Bud Meyer. And also out there is going to be Giffen. And heck, here come the Tigers. Coming out is going to be uh, Bryston Gearing. Also Eisman out there. Zane Reinert, McCollum, and Brady Bauer out there. Brady is the junior at 5'11". Tigers go to work. Now it's going to be Gehring, top of the key. Give it off to Reinert. 
Reinert goes on the dribble drive through the middle of the paint up off the window and good. So far, the Bronx have not a, had an answer for Zane Reinert. Back the other way as the Bronx go on the attack into the high paint. It's going to be Giffen, and there is going to be a whistle and a foul. Foul's going to go this time against McCollum, and that'll be his first. So the Bronx will bring it in from underneath their own basket. Setting it up is going to be Fear. Actually, no, that is going to be Budmeyer, and Budmeyer steps over the baseline, and so the Tigers will get it back. Here come the Tigers on the attack. It's going to be Gehring, top of the K, given off there, and Reiner. Reiner will go over the left side, and it's going to be in the hands this time. Eisman back up to Gehring, now Zane Reiner on the dribble drive all the way through the baseline. Now give it off and it's going to be Bauer. Bauer goes on the dribble, almost loses the handle there. Bodies all over the place and they're going to call a traveling violation when nobody had control of the basketball. Well, I won't figure that one out anytime soon. But the Bronx get the ball back. Top of the key now, left side. Going to go to Heck. Heck will go on the dribble one time, and now up top it comes Budmeyer. Budmeyer from the top of the key. He'll give it off to Otis. Otis one dribble, back over to Budmeyer. He'll pull the trigger, three-pointer, and it's going to be no good. McCollum right there with the rebound. Now going to give it off in the right side. Here's a long shot, three-pointer on the way. Gary, no good. And on the rebound, there's going to be a lot of contact as McCollum went up to pull it out of the air. And... Uh, the foul this time is going to go against Otis. Otis will pick up his first foul. Fifth team foul. Bryston Gehring checks out of the lineup. Coming back in there with three fouls is going to be Trey Cerny. He's going to have to play a little bit more conservatively. Over to the left side now, and Zane Reinert is going to have the ball knocked out of his hands from behind, and the Bronx come back the other way. Heck, way out there on the right side. Top of the key now, going to go to Budmeyer. Budmeyer, left side, outside, going to give it off to Otis. Otis up top, and it's Heck. Back over it comes. It's Fear. Fear on the dribble into the, about the high paint. Now left side, here's a three by Otis, and boom, right there. So the score now is 20 to 10. Tigers on top by 10 points. They go to work. And a pass inside is going to go, and it's going to be the hook shot. Turn around, up and good by McCollum. His second basket. 22-10 now. Mobridge Pollock on top. Under six left until halftime. Inside pass comes in to Giffen. Giffen goes up, no good. McCollum right there with the rebound. Give it out now to Bauer. Brady Bauer on the right side. Bring it back up top to Cerny. Back over to Bauer. Bauer looks in. Not much there. He'll go on the dribble once. Now up it comes with Zane Reiner. Zane over to Cerny. Back up is going to be Eisman. Eisman this time goes through the middle of the paint up and good. And Eisman has his third basket of the ball game. 24-10 now. Tigers on top. Here come the Bronx. Here is going to be Budmeyer, top of the key, giving off to Fear. Now over it comes to Otis. Otis back up top to Heck, over to the right side. Here's a three on the way. Budmeyer, no good. Rebound. This time comes out to Zane Reiner. Zane will break the time barrier, set up from the top of the key. Give it off there. Eisman back to Zane, back to Eisman. Eisman looks up. Now it's going to be Cerny. Over it comes, and it's Reiner. And there's going to be a whistle and a foul away from the ball. And the foul is going to go against McCollum. It's getting physical inside. McCollum will check out of the lineup. Bauer's going to check out. Coming back in there is going to be Fitzer and Gehring. Inbounds comes in. It's going to be Budmeyer. Budmeyer give it off to Fear. And lots of pressure back there. Now a long pass into the right side. Giffen. Giffen goes on the dribble. He's going to lose a handle on the ball. It's going to be knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Tigers. First time we've seen uh, number 54 out there. That's Logan uh, Goders. He's a senior at 6-2 for the Bronx. Inbounds is going to come in way over the top, and it's going to be Otis for three. No good. Giffen right there with a the rebound. His putback is no good. Here's Fitzer with the rebound. 
He'll give it off, and it's going to be Zane Reiner out of the backcourt. 24-10 our score right now, 4.31 until halftime. Here's Zane Reiner, top of the key, left side, give it off. Here's a shot on the way, a three-pointer, no good by Bryston Gearing. Rebound comes out this time to Otis, and Otis will set up top of the key. Now over to the right side. Going to give it off there to Giffen. Giffen goes on the dribble drive underneath the basket. Let's the pass out to Budmeyer in the corner. And there is going to be a whistle and a foul. And that will be number four on Trey Cerny. Cerny will pick up his fourth. And three shots coming up. To Otis. First one on its way. It's right there. Otis will step back up there. Here's shot two of three. Fires it up, and it's right there. Zane Reinert and Cerny will check out of the lineup. I don't believe we'll see Cerny the rest of the first half. I could be wrong, though. Back in there is going to be uh, Bauer and Gavin Reinert. Second one is going to go right in. So Ashton Fitzer will bring it out, give it off, and Eisman will break the time barrier. Now Fitzer, left side, outside. Looks in, now back out it comes. Gavin Reinert into the corner it comes, and it's going to be Bryston Gehring on the dribble drive. Back out. Now Bauer puts up the three, and it's going to rattle around no good. And there is going to be a whistle and a foul on the play. Foul is going to go against Fitzer this time. That'll be his first. There is a battle going on inside the paint. And so all the way down the other end is going to be Aiden Giffen for the one and one. Couple of dribbles now. Takes a look. Puts it on its way. It's going to rattle around no good. Rebound controlled by Fitzer, and in a hurry, they come back the other way. Inside the paint, it's going to be Bryston Gearing. Now give it up. Here's Bauer for three. Boom, right there. Brady Bauer hits from downtown. 27-13 now. Tigers on top. 332 left here in the first half. In the backcourt, pressure. Budmeyer, and a timeout called by the Belfouche bench. 27-13, Tigers on top. 327 left in the first half. Back in 30, star 99. Winter weather is hard on your paint and underbody of your vehicle. At Oahe Car Wash in Mulbridge, we want to help you take care of your vehicle with our new automatic car wash phase on West Grand Crossing. Choose from our touchless or soft touch wash to make your vehicle look great both underneath and outside. Keeping your car clean helps prolong the value too. Oahe Car Wash is proud to sponsor this sports broadcast and grateful we can serve you. Welcome back. Well, the Belfour student section, all in their rodeo gear. I look up at the wall, and they've got some uh, team rodeo championships going back to 1965 all the way to 2019. Uh, yeah, Belfour, pretty good rodeo town. In the backcourt against pressure, it's going to be Budmeyer. Budmeyer up ahead. Give it off there to Fear. Fear will go into the corner this time, and it's Otis. Otis is going to have the ball stolen away. Coming back the other way this time is going to be Bryston Gearing. He'll look down in the corner. Fine this time. It's going to be Bauer. Leans in. Puts it up and good. Brady Bauer with his second basket. 29 now to 13. 302 left here in the second quarter. Across the time stripe now. It's going to be Heck. He almost loses it there. Give it off underneath. And Fear goes up. He can't get the roll, but there is going to be a putback up and good by Otis. And so it's now 29-15. Tigers on top. They've got the basketball out there on the left side. It's going to be Gavin Reiner. Gavin on the dribble a couple of times. Give it off now. And it's going to be Gehring inside. Eisman. Eisman with a nice little move inside. Puts it up off the window and good. 31-15. Tigers on top. In the backcourt. Heck will give it across to Budmeyer. Budmeyer way out there. Now Heck top of the key. He'll go on the dribble a couple of times. Down on the corner it comes. Now back up top. It's Budmeyer. 
Budmeyer looks into the high paint this time to Giffen. Giffen turns around, fade away, up and no good. Rebound to Gehring. Gehring up ahead, it comes to Bauer. Bauer will set up from the right wing. Set the offense up from there. Now Eisman. Eisman away out there. Top of the key. It's going to be in the hands of Gavin Reiner. Now it's Gehring. Gehring goes on the dribble. Baseline puts the shot up. No good. And the rebound comes out this time to Giffen. And here come the Bronx back the other way. Right side outside. It's going to be Otis. Otis will give it off. Now here's a three-pointer on the way by Fear. And it's going to be long. No good. Another rebound for Gehring. And Bryston will bring it back this way. Bryston. To the top of the key, looks into the corner this time. Give it off to Fitzer, and Fitzer is going to try to throw it over the top. It's blocked right back into his chest and out of bounds. Fitzer going to check out of the lineup. Also checking out is going to be Bauer. Coming back in there is going to be Zane Reinert, and also back in there is Cade McCollum. And Heck will check out of the lineup for Bell Fouche. Logan Goders will come back in. Bronx now to the top of the key. Give it off to this time Garza Clarkson. I think, no, that is going to be Goders. Into the left side. It's going to be Great Giffen. Back out top to Fear. Fear right side. Here's a long three on the way by Otis. No good. Rebound is tipped around. It's going to be tipped into the hands of Budmeyer. Now back out and Fear throws up the three. Boom, right there. And it's 31-18 now. Tigers on top. They've got the ball. Way out there is going to be McCollum. Top of the key into the hands this time of Zane Reiner. Back over it comes. Also Trench Michael into the ball game. The junior at 5'11 into the corner. Here's Gavin Reiner. Boom! <laughs> Deep corner three for Gavin Reiner. Now 34-18 to score. 24 seconds left here in the second quarter. Here come the Bronx, and they're going to play for the last shot. Way out there is Budmeyer. Budmeyer center circle with the basketball. One dribble, now give it off, and it's going to be Goders. Now left side to Otis. Otis back up top. Here's a three on the way, and it's going to be up the front edge. No good. And on the rebound, there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Foul is going to go against uh, Zane Reinert. That'll be his first. Double bonus time, so stepping up there is going to be Aiden Giffen. He'll have two shots coming up. Takes a couple of dribbles, eyes it, fires it, and this one's off the back edge. No good. He'll come back up for the second one. Fires it up there, and this one is right there. So Giffen, one out of two, makes it 34-19 now. Two seconds on the clock. Here's a half-court shot, and it's off the iron. No good. Very, very close by Zane Reiner. But at halftime on your Vision Care Associates scoreboard, it is Tigers 34, Bronx 19. We'll be back in three minutes. We'll have it all added up. We'll tell you about it when we return here on Star 99. When looking for dental care, trust the team at McQuillan Swanson Dental to take care of your entire family's dental needs. Whether it's a checkup, whitening, or cosmetic dentistry, Dr. Mark McQuillan and Dr. Tom Swanson can make sure your dental work is done efficiently and affordable at McQuillan Swanson Dental. To learn more about our facility or schedule an appointment, give us a call at 845-7222 at McQuillan Swanson Dental. Here for all of your family's dental needs. Community isn't just defined by a dot on the map. It can be defined by shared values, ideas, and dreams. It can be defined by the people who come together to get those dreams done. At Great Western Bank, we're focused on you. We're focused on making life great for the people and the communities we serve. We do it with honesty, integrity, and respect. Always have, always will. Since community is much more than a location, we're glad to be in yours. Great Western Bank, making life great. Member FDIC. Here at Eisman Building Products, we are proud to be strong supporters of our community, local businesses, schools, and the Mobridge Pollock Tigers. Hi, this is Christy. If you're needing your roof replaced this fall, we offer steel roofing, impact-resistant shingles, and other high-quality shingles, plus roofing products to get the job done right. We can also recommend reliable, dependable, and local contractors to install your product. 
That's Eisman Building Products. Proud to be a supporter of the Mulbridge Pollock Tigers. Good luck, Tigers. Apply now for a WRT $1,000 scholarship, including district area and technology awards. WRT scholarships are available to both high school seniors and college students. Students and or their parents must have WRT internet or phone service to be eligible. Apply online at westrib.com slash scholarship dash application. WRT members can also apply for the national FRS $2,500 scholarship at frs.org. Don't miss out. Apply by March 1st for WRT's $1,000 scholarship. At Jensen Rock and Sand of Mobridge, we can handle all of your construction needs. Whether it's rock for your landscaping, asphalt for your driveway, or concrete for your new basement, we have all the products and services you need at the prices that won't break your budget. You can stop by and pick up what you need. We also have the equipment to help you prepare for your site if you need it. For all of your commercial and residential needs, give us a call at 845-7213 at Jensen Rock and Sand of Mobridge. At Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, your health is our number one priority. So if you need medical care, then trust our team. Dr. Donald Lusick, surgeon, Dr. Josh Henderson, and Dr. Travis Henderson, internal medicine. For family and women's health, including obstetrics, you can trust Dr. Emily Bowden, Dr. Robert Marciano, or Dr. Matt Schaefer, along with Dory Voidy, nurse practitioner and certified nurse midwife, physician assistants Heather Olson and Clint Perman, and nurse practitioners Candida Gehring, Jesse Norder, Karen Freiling, and Annette Hollenbeck. Good luck from our team to yours from Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. Let me just say, I've been broadcasting since 1987, and I thought I had seen it all until I came to Belfouche. They had a contest. Somebody got to kiss a sheep, and uh, they did right here in the middle of the floor. I am just blown away. That was amazing. And that's not a little sheep either. It's a big one. I think she enjoyed the kiss. Anyway, let's take a look at scoring. Uh, right now for Belfouche, three points for uh, Lon Fuhr. Also, uh, Aiden Giffen with three points. Five points for Anthony Budmeyer. Eight points right now for Riker Otis. No real foul trouble. Uh, one or below uh, everybody on the floor. On the other side of the ball, two points right now for Bryston Gearing. Kay Neisman with nine points. Nine points for Zane Reinert. Two points for Trace Cerny, but Trace is in a little foul trouble. He's got four right now. He might see limited time in the second half. Gavin Reinert with three, five right now for Brady Bauer and four for Kalen McCollum. Everybody else in pretty good shape. It's uh, Trey Cerny right now. He had three in the first quarter and got his fourth in the second quarter. And so that's where we stand here at halftime, 34-19. And, uh, well, I just found out that the girls in the Sodak 16 will be taking on Hamlin. And that game will take place next Thursday in Watertown. Of course, we're going to have coverage right here on Star 99 of the game. And so uh, if you can't make it out to Watertown, tune in. I hope there's a lot of people there, though, as uh, this is a big game. Sodak 16 for the girls and Coach Hedick. And, and uh, I know the girls are really excited. Most of them are here tonight. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun, and it is happening again Thursday night. As far as the time goes, they, the state usually likes to start those things at 7 o'clock, but that's still kind of up in the air. That's an agreement between the two teams, and uh, if they're playing more than one game at the Watertown Civic Arena. So we'll find out, and we will uh, get that on the sports for you coming up next week, uh, Thursday night. Sodak 16, the Lady Tigers and the Lady Chargers from Hamlin. It's a big affair. I hope to see a lot of people there, but if you can't make it, again, Star 99 and drgnews.com and also the app. Tell you what, if you haven't downloaded the app yet, you might want to do that right now. Just go to the App Store and in the search engine, type in DRG News. Download it. It's brought to you by Golden Buffalo Casino. And when you make Star 99 your favorite station on the app, the ball games automatically pop up. So a uh, big bonus there. We're, uh, well, here comes Belfouche out of the locker room. Still waiting for Mobridge Pollock to come out. We're going to take another three-minute timeout. Thanks to more of our sponsors. We'll come back. It's halftime. It's 34-19. Tigers on top. We'll be back in three minutes. This is Star 99. Lucky's Pit Stop in Mobridge invites you to stop by before or after the game for all of your convenience store items and a whole lot more. They have tackle, South Dakota souvenirs, cappuccinos, 
hot and cold sandwiches, and a whole lot more. If you're in need of an oil change, a tire fixed, or a whole new set, they have that too, with prices that won't break your budget. Stop by Lucky's Pit Stop of Mobridge, your local Sinclair store with the big green dinosaur on West Grand Crossing in Mobridge. Think about long-term care. What options come to mind? Your State Farm agent knows you might want to receive care in your own home. Your good neighbor has a great solution. Long-term care insurance from State Farm Mutual Automobile Insurance Company. We live where you live. See State Farm agent Doug Heil in Mobridge or call 845-3603. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, providing insurance and financial services. Have you tried the new car wash base at Oahe Car Wash in Mulbridge? If you haven't, now's the time. Our new car wash cleans not only the outside, but the underside too. Choose from either one of our new car wash bays, soft touch or touch free. Your car will be sparkling clean without all of the work, so you're ready to hit the road. There's even wax to protect your paint against harsh summer rays. Maintain the value of your car with a car wash from Oahe Car Wash in Mulbridge. At McQuillan's Swanson Dental, we understand. We understand the nervousness, the edginess, the fear that takes over. And that's why when you sit down in the chair, you can't have a better friend than the one you'll have at McQuillan Swanson Dental. Our dentists understand your apprehension. That's why you're their first concern for any dental procedure. Whether it's a simple cleaning or something as complex as a root canal, you can rest assured that our dentists will take every precaution to make sure you're as comfortable as you can be. McQuillan Swanson Dental and Mulbridge, your smile, our success. Community isn't just defined by a dot on the map. It can be defined by shared values, ideas, and dreams. It can be defined by the people who come together to get those dreams done. At Great Western Bank, we're focused on you. We're focused on making life great for the people and the communities we serve. We do it with honesty, integrity, and respect. Always have, always will. Since community is much more than a location, we're glad to be in yours. Great Western Bank, making life great. Member FDIC. Interested in new cabinetry but don't know where to start? We, we make, make it easy. easy. This is Christy of Eisman Building Products. We offer showplace cabinetry. Premium, custom, quality built cabinets with a lifetime warranty that's made right here in South Dakota. And I'm Rissa, your showplace cabinetry designer. Get free consultations and design services by calling 850-4595. At Eisman Building Products, we carry quartz, granite, and laminate countertops to complement your showplace cabinets. Call me to design your space today, 850-4595. For more inspiration, go online to showplacecabinetry.com. Hey, welcome back. Well, I tell you what, their music selection here at Belfouche during the halftime period is pretty, uh, pretty good. Johnny Cash right now playing Ring of Fire. I like it. The Bronx are at the bench right now getting some uh, words of advice from uh, Clay Potorf. He is the head coach for Belfouche and the Bronx. Tigers still haven't come out onto the floor. As they're getting some uh, last-second advice from uh, Coach Knudsen. It'll be interesting to see who comes out there for Mulbridge Pollock. Had an interesting conversation on the ride up here with Braden Gehring. Braden still having some irritation, some pain in his knee. But uh, he says the swelling's down, and he's, uh, he's uh, you know, one of those things where if he can play through the pain, they're going to release him. But uh, that's a big F. Out on the floor is going to be Fear, and also out there is going to be Budmeyer. Budmeyer also out there is, uh, is cocked. Also out there is going to be Giffen, and also out there is going to be Heck. Mulbridge Pollock comes out with McCollum. Also out there is going to be Gavin and Zane Reiner. To also Gary out there and Eisman. So Belfouche will get the first possession of the second half, and they go to work. And be a push and a foul right away. And Zane Reiner will pick up his second foul. So Belfouche will inbound, and it comes in top of the key. Going to work with it is going to be Budmeyer. Budmeyer spins out there now, left side. Give it off there. It's going to be Hack. Hack give it off into the corner. Crock back out, and it ends up in the hands of Budmeyer. Now into Giffen. Giffen will turn, face, and no good. It's McCollum with the rebound. Outlet comes out, Gavin Reiner. Gavin will set it up to McCollum out there on the wing. Now up top, going to go in the hands of Gearing. 
Gehring at the top of the key now. Eisman. Eisman back out. Gehring. Gehring goes on the dribble one time. Bring it back out. Eisman now in the corner. Here is a three on the way. And it's going to be no good. And they're going to give uh, the foul to McCollum. And that will be number three on him. That's the oh oh foul. So the Bronx will get it back, and they go to work. Top of the key, Bud Meyer now left side. Give it off to Heck. Heck goes on the dribble drive, and will hand it out this time to uh, Cock. Cock left side. It's going to be Bud Meyer now. A three on the way, short off the front edge by Heck. Rebound comes out to Gavin Reinert. Gavin goes into the right side. Now a three, and this time by Gehring right there. 37-19, Tigers on top. Here come the Bronx, back the other way. Into the left side it goes. It's going to be Heck. Heck back up top, and on the dribble drive, spins inside the paint. No good on the shot by Cock, and the rebound is controlled by Mobridge Pollock once again. Here's Bryston Gary. Now give it out to Gavin Reinert. Gavin goes on the dribble. There's going to be a whistle. No, they're going to say traveling. A lot of contact for no foul. Broncos will inbound. And this time, Budmeyer crosses the time stripe. Top of the K, looks over to the right side, give it off to Heck. Heck on the dribble, back up top, give it off to Giffen. Giffen left side this time to Budmeyer. Up top, Fear. Fear looks in. It's going to be cocked back out. It has to come to Budmeyer. Now Heck, Heck left side. Now here's Giffen. Giffen goes on the dribble, trying to penetrate. Cut off there. Down on the paint this time. And the ball is going to be bounced around like a pinball. And it's finally going to go out of bounds. Last touch by Belfouche. 37-19 the score. Six minutes left here in the third period. Tigers on top. They've got the basketball. Here's Gehring. Gearing, give it up top now, now into the corner. Here's Zane Reinert for three. Boom, right there. Zane Reinert hits one from the deep corner. 40 now to 19. Tigers on top. They're going to play a little defense right now. Here's Cott. Now left side. It's going to be Fear. Inside it comes Giffen with a turnaround hook. No good. Rebound comes out this time. And off to the races is going to be Gavin Reiner. Give it off. And inside is going to go to Eisman. Eisman's shot is blocked, but out of bounds. Out of the ball game is going to be Crocked. And back in there is going to be Garza Clarkson for the Bronx. Inbounds is set. Comes in, this time to McCollum on the block. Now into the corner, give it off Zane Reinert. Zane will lose control of it. It's going to be stolen away. Clark, actually that's uh, Garza Clarkson with the pass. Now into the low paint. It's going to be Giffen. Giffen goes with a great move to the basket, up off the window, and good. It's 40-21. to 21. Tigers on top. Mulbridge Pollock with the basketball. Top of the key. It's going to be Gehring. Gehring now over it comes. And it's going to be this time Gavin Reinert into the corner. It's going to be Eisman. Eisman looks in and going to work with it this time is going to be McCollum. McCollum's shot is going to be no good. Rebound comes out. And it's Garza Clarkson all the way down coast to coast up with the basket. 40 now 23 with 427 left here in the third period. Mobridge Pollock on top. Here's Gehring. Gehring stop and pop. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound control this time by Fear. And Fear wants to take it all the way in. He's going to go up off the glass. No good. Rebound to Heck. His shot. No good. Rebound is tipped around this time. And is going to be controlled by Gehring. Long pass down is Zane Reinert. And Reinert is going to get called for a travel. Just didn't have the ball. And spun around. And there's a timeout on the floor. 40-23, the score right now. 4.05 left here in the third quarter, and it is a 30-second timeout. We'll be right back, star 99. 
Apply now for a WRT $1,000 scholarship, including district area and technology awards. WRT scholarships are available to both high school seniors and college students. Students and or their parents must have WRT internet or phone service to be eligible. Apply online at westriv.com slash scholarship dash application. WRT members can also apply for the national FRS $2,500 scholarship at frs.org. Don't miss out. Apply by March 1st for WRT's $1,000 scholarship. 405 left here in the third quarter. Coming out of the timeout, 40-23 the score right now. And it's Mulbridge Pollock on top. Bronx basketball out of the backcourt. And on the dribble is going to be Budmeyer. Budmeyer to the top of the K right side. And it's stolen away. The ball is picked up this time by Gavin Reiner. He'll go to the top of the key. Now come inside to Cerny. Cerny looks in. Hey, great pass that time. Eisman up off the window and good. 42-23. Tigers on top. 339 left here in the third quarter. On the dribble drive is Garza Clarkson into the corner now. Give it up. Budmeyer. He'll pull up a little fadeaway right there. 42-25. Tigers. Ashton Fencer, who's back in the ball game, has it at the top of the key. He'll stop, pop three on the way. Boom, right there. Ashton Fencer lights out from the top of the key. 45-25, back to a 20-point lead for Mobridge Pollock. Bronx on the attack up top. It's going to be crocked. Now give it off and Fear. Fear looks into the right side. Bud Meyer, Bud Meyer is going to pass it over the top. A shot is going to be no good. Taken by Giffen, and the rebound after a couple of tips controlled by Cerny, who's back in the lineup. Now back the other way, off the glass. It's going to be Gehring, no good. Rebound, and it's going to be Garza Clarkson. He'll go all the way in, and there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Foul is going to go this time against Bryston Gehring. That'll be his second. Two shots coming up for Garza Clarkson. 45-25, Tigers on top. And it's Brexton Garza-Clarkson, the senior at 5'11", at the stripe. First one on its way, it's right there. Back in the lineup is going to be Gabe Heck for the Bronx. Also coming back in there is Riker Otis for Belfouche. 45-26, Mobridge Pollock on top, second one is no good for Clarkson, Garza Clarkson. Here come the Tigers back the other way. Cerny give it off Eisman. Eisman out there on the wing spot, right side, outside. Looks inside to the high paint, now into the corner. It's going to be Gavin Reinert. Gavin has the ball knocked out of his hands and then goes on the dribble drive. There's going to be a whistle on the play and a foul. And the foul this time is going to go against uh, Budmeyer. That'll be his second. Eisman checks out of the lineup, and it is going to be back in there. Brady Bauer for Mobridge Pollock. Inbounds comes in. Fitzer, top of the K. Now Bauer puts up the three. Boom! Right there. And that's his second one of the ball game. 48-26. Tigers on top, and here's a steal. Going to the basket with it is going to be Gehring, and he puts it up off the window and good. Back court, Budmeyer, long pass, and it's going to go down here to the right side. Otis, give it back up top to Heck, back over to Otis from the wing spot. Right side, outside, on the dribble drive, up top now, and it's going to be Garza Clarkson with the layup, no good. Rebound to Bauer, and Bauer wants to push. He'll take it to the right side. Now up top, give it off to Cerny. Cerny backs it out a couple of steps, back over to Bauer. Bauer from the wing spot. Up top, and it's going to be Gary now back over to Cerny from the left wing this time. Up top, give it off. It's going to be this time into the hands of Fitzer. Now Gavin Reiner back over to Cerny. Cerny at the high paint will stop, turn around right there. 52-26. Tigers on top. Pressure in the backcourt. They're going to break it, and it's going to come to Garza Clarkson. Now he'll try to come back up with it. Stolen away by Gehring. He'll put it up off the glass and good with the kiss. Under a minute left here in the third quarter. 
54-26, Tigers on top. Here's Otis into the corner, a three on the way, this time by Heck, no good. And the rebound is fought for, last touch by the Bronx on the way out of bounds. Back into the lineup is going to be this time Trent Schmeichel, and he'll check in there this time for Gavin Reinert. Also, Bryston Gearing going to check out of the lineup. Back in there for them is going to be Zane Reinert. So Bauer and Zane Reinert out there. Fitz are out there. Also out there is going to be Cerny and Schmeichel. Right side outside is going to be Zane Reiner. Give it off. And Bauer, who's got the hot hand right now, he'll back it out a couple of steps. Now looking for a pick. He gets it. And now he's trying to find somebody open. Give it off to Zane Reiner. He'll go down the middle of the paint, up off the window. Good. Zane Reiner, his sixth basket. And uh, another drive to the basket, to the hole. Here's Fear, left side, outside. Heck now. Back up top, way, way out there is Budmeyer. They're playing for the last shot. Ten seconds, nine seconds. Trying to go inside with a pass. Now Giffen picks it up, puts it up. He's off the front edge twice. Now off the back edge, no good. One second, here's a shot at the buzzer, and it is going to be off the mark. So after three on your Vision Care Associates scoreboard, it's Tigers 56 and Bronx 26. This is on your Vision Care Associates scoreboard. Come back in one minute. We'll have the fourth quarter right here on Star 99. At Jensen Rock and Sand of Mobridge, we work hard together as a team to make sure all of your needs are met when it comes to your residential or commercial construction. Whether it's a simple pile of rock or an entire basement, our staff will help make sure that you get what you need and back it up with the service that we have based our business on. We want to take this time to wish the Mobridge Pollock athletes the best in the game and the season. Good luck from all of us at Jensen Rock and Sand of Mobridge. At Mobridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, your health is our number one priority. So if you need medical care, then trust our team. Dr. Donald Lusick, surgeon, Dr. Josh Henderson, and Dr. Travis Henderson, internal medicine. For family and women's health, including obstetrics, you can trust Dr. Emily Bowden, Dr. Robert Marciano, or Dr. Matt Schaefer, along with Dory Voidy, nurse practitioner and certified nurse midwife, physician assistants Heather Olson and Clint Perman, and nurse practitioners Candida Gehring, Jesse Norder, Karen Freiling, and Annette Hollenbeck. Good luck from our team to yours from Mobridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. Last eight minutes of basketball on the clock right now. Schmeichel and Bauer out there. Zane Reiner. Blaze Thompson out there for the first time. Blaze is a senior at six foot. And also out there is McCollum. Bauer will put his hand underneath the basketball and carry it. And that's a traveling violation. So the turnover and Belfouche will go to work. They've got out there Fear and uh, Budmeyer. Also out there is going to be Crocked, Giffen, and Heck. Blaze Thompson sacrificing his body. He goes flying into the bleachers almost. Pops right back up, says they can't hurt Steele. So the Bronx will inbound from the far corner. Into the corner it comes. It's going to be Heck. Heck tries to come inside. Now Giffen. Giffen on the dribble. And he will go up, and there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Two shots coming up for Giffen. Foul's going to go against Schmeichel. That'll be his first. So Giffen comes up. This will be his fourth appearance up there tonight. Right now, one out of three. First one is right there. So make it two for four, and he wants to improve on that even. Giffen, second shot on the way, back edge, no good. And the rebound is going to be chased into the corner. Belfouche picks it up, and right away they go to work. Uh, three on the way, top of the key. Gabe Heck, boom, right there. 56-30 now. Chasten Myers checks into the lineup for Bauer. Also coming in is going to be Uriah Sitting Dog and Jack Fenrick. So let's get those for you. Fenrick is a senior at 5'9". Myers is a senior at 6 foot. And uh, Uriah uh, is a senior 
at uh, 6-1. Inbounds is going to be knocked out of bounds again. It comes in this time. It's going to be Blaze Thompson. Thompson picks it up into the corner. Jack Fenrick looks at the three. Now goes to the basket. Up and good. Jack Fenrick on a nice drive. And it's 58-30 now. Back the other way. And here is a shot underneath by Giffen. Up and under. Good. Tigers with the basketball, and all of a sudden, Bell Foosh is going to throw some pressure on. Here's Myers. Now give it up, and it's going to be Blaze Thompson. Off to Sitting Dog. Now Schmeichel. Schmeichel's shot is blocked. Loose ball picked up. Now Jack Fenrick for three, and it's off the front edge. No good. Heck right there with the rebound. Now it's stolen away. Picked up by Schmeichel. He can't get the roll. And now Myers is going to be fouled as he is going up. Foul is going to go against Budmeyer, and Budmeyer picks up his third. Out of the ball game is going to be Crocked, and also out there is Fear. Back in there is going to be Garza Clarkson, and also back in there is going to be uh, uh, Anthony. No, actually, that's he's already been in there. Oh, this is going to be uh, Riker Otis. Otis with a block shot against the sitting dog. And the loose ball picked up. Here come the Bronx back the other way. Down the middle of the paint, there's going to be a whistle and a foul as Anthony Budmeyer goes on the dribble drive. 5.07 left here in the ball game. 58-32 the score. At the line is going to be Budmeyer. First shot right there. Giffen will check out of the lineup. Coming back in there is going to be a Goders. Second one is right there. Budmeyer hits both of them. Now 58-34. Tigers on top. They go on the attack. Inside pass comes in to Myers. His shot is blocked, and there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Tell you what, if that hadn't been called, there may have been a breakout here. Anthony Budmeyer picks up his fourth foul. And that's going to be Chaston Myers at the stripe. Two shots coming up. Puts it on its way. It's right there. Schmeichel going to check out of the lineup. Here comes uh, this time. Kobe Goodchill, who's a sophomore at 6'1". Jason Myers back up there. One shot left, and it's on its way. It's right there. So 60 now to 34. Tigers on top. 442 left here in the ballgame. Inside pass comes in, and there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Twenty-four black. I was going to say, who is he talking about? That's going to be Goodshield picking up his first foul, and Goder's going up there with one shot. On its way is off the back edge, no good. A lot of contact, no foul. Last touch by the Bronx on the way out of bounds, and so the Tigers will get it back. 60-36. Mulridge Pollock with the lead and 424 and ticking. Here in Belfouche. Here's Good Shield. Good Shield through the middle of the paint. Jump stop. Now give it off. And it's going to be Blaze Thompson. Now Myers into the corner. He'll come back out with it. Now Good Shield for three. And it's off the front edge. No good. Rebound chased down by Anthony Staley, who is a sophomore at 6'4. Right side outside. Here's Otis for three. And it rattles around. No good. Rebound pulled down by Getters. And he'll go back up with it. And good. 60-38. Sorry about the camera. I'm doing this all by myself. Here's Fenrick across the stripe. Works it into the right side. Up top now and trying to give it off to Sitting Dog. It's knocked into the backcourt. Sitting Dog on the dribble. Top of the key. Give it off now. Fenrick. Fenrick looking for somebody to pop loose inside. Not much there. Into the corner comes Goodshield. Good shield back up top. Fenrick now here's Sitting Dog. Sitting Dog through the middle of the paint. He is going to be fouled. Oh, no. They're going to call the offensive foul. 
against Uriah Sitting Dog. His first. Checking in there for the first time is Caden Stores, a junior at 5'11 for the Bronx. So it'll be inbounded, and Stores is going to bring it out of the backcourt for the Bronx. On the dribble, crosses the time stripe, picks up pressure right there. Into the right side now, give it off, and it's going to be Blake Vizia, or Vicia. Vicia, give it off left side to Stores. Back up top now, it's going to be Otis. Otis back over to Vicia. Vicia down into the corner and going to work with it is Stores. Now on the dribble drive is Staley, and Staley is going to pick up the foul. Threw a elbow out there right now, and it's his first foul. 2.14 left here in the ballgame, 60-38. Tigers on top. Here's Fenrick, give it up, and it's going to be Goodshield over to Sitting Dog, right side, outside. Into the corner, Fenrick, back up top, Thompson. Blaze on the dribble drive, has to come back out with it. It's going to be stolen out of his hands, and coming back the other way, then Blaze Thompson, good hustle, came up and stole it right back. And now a pass across the lane, and it's going to be Fenrick up and good. 62-38, Tigers on top. Back the other way, the Bronx with the basketball. And chased it, Byers, Johnny on the spot, went after the basketball. Sitting Dog, also Myers and uh, Goodshield will all come out of the ball game. Checking in there is going to be, for the first time tonight, it's going to be Holden Eisman, also Thane Beheeler into the ball game. And uh, shot up on the way, no good. Rebound is going to be fought for, and a jump ball is going to be called. Possession arrow belongs to Belfouche. Under a minute left here. Inbounds comes in. They go around the top of the perimeter. Otis now into the corner it comes. And on the dribble drive this time is going to be Staley. And Staley is going to be fouled. Blaze Thompson will pick up the foul. That will be his first. Anthony Staley, the 6'4 sophomore, will check up to the line. Two shots coming up. First one is going to roll around no good. He'll step back up there. And the second one is right there. 62-39 with 39 seconds left on the clock here in the ball game. Fenrick will break the time barrier. Mobridge Pollock will get a win in their last regular season game. Get ready for tournament time now. Here's Fenrick, right side, outside. Looks in now, and it's going to be Beheeler. Beheeler on the dribble. Gets it in the corner. Here's Holden Eisenman. Shot is long. No good. Rebound comes out this time to Storrs, and Storrs wants to come back the other way. Into the corner it comes, and a shot up by Vicia. No good. Rebound is going to be tipped around, and last touch by the Bronx on the way out of bounds. And that is going to do it for this one. Tigers get the win. 62 to 39 on your Vision Care Associate scoreboard. We are going to take a quick one minute break. We'll come back. We will name our Merkel's Foods player of the game when we return right here. This is Star 99. There's an app for everything, including high school sports from the stations of DRG Media Group. Download the DRG News app brought to you by the Golden Buffalo Casino from the App Store or Google Play. It only takes a moment, so you'll have it to replay this game. See live and archived video of all games. And when you select your favorite station during the live stream, the video will immediately pop up. See Central South Dakota High School Sports on your phone or mobile device with the DRG News app brought to you by the Golden Buffalo Casino. Download it now at the App Store or Google Play. Folks are talking about how easy it is to shop online now, MerkelsFoods.com. As a single mom, because uh, my husband works out of town a lot, it's really convenient for me to just go online and do my shopping and then be able to either pick it up or have it delivered to my house when I'm home. That's what I love most about it. 
They're very accommodating people. You don't have to go to a big box store for your grocery pickup anymore. Now offered locally at Merkel's Foods in Mobridge. Shop online at MerkelsFoods.com. And welcome back. Well, the Merkel's Foods player of the game tonight, a kid that played uh, a lot of JV ball tonight, also came out and contributed nicely in this varsity game. Blaze Thompson's our Merkel's Foods player of the game tonight. And uh, tell you what, I, I said it before, if you give a uh, player of the game award away for attitude, he's going to get it every single time. He is an amazing kid, has a great attitude, and he's one of those guys, when he goes into practice, he says, I'm here to help the team. It's not about me, it's about the team. And we've got a whole bunch of fans that want to get out of here. So I'll do this. Come on through. <laughs> we want to say thank you to our video sponsors, Key Insurance, Riverside Home Furnishing, Sitting Bull College, and the Mowbridge Regional Hospital and Clinic. Thank you. Also tonight, the in-game spot.